Hello, in this video, I wanted to share one of my favorite tips ever, which is using Pear Deck to actually ink up your Google Slides presentation. So this is what I do. I start in my Google Slides and I create my slides as normal. Let me go ahead and open up my Pear Deck sidebar. I try my best to always start with a question. I usually get it from the template library like this, and then I modified the question to suit this lesson. From there, all of the slides that I have, I just make them drawing type slides. So all I do is I take my normal slide, which used to look like this, and then I just go over here and add drawing to each of the slides. Now you can see that that took a moment. So here's a little pro tip. As you're creating your slides, make the first one a drawing and then duplicate to make your next slide also a drawing type slide. Or what I tend to do is I just make all my slides and then do exactly what I showed you for the first slide. Then what you can do is you can just copy this bottom bar and paste it on all of the slides afterwards. So literally when you paste it, it will automatically go to the bottom there. And that process takes no time at all as opposed to having to wait for it to process each and every time. So that's just a little quick tip. Anyway, let's get into the meat of this video, which is inking up the slides. Obviously, I can't do anything right now, but what you can do is you can present the lesson in Pear Deck. And then in your Pear Deck, you'll know this, you cannot respond, right? I can't respond to this question. I can't actually use the drawing tools. Only my students can. So what I tend to do is I go ahead and turn on student paste mode, and then I grab this link right here. Alternatively, you can just click and choose this give students a link, which is a little bit faster, and then simply open up a new tab and paste in that URL, and then you are signed in as a student. It might prompt you to sign in to Pear Deck once more. Just sign in with the same account. So whatever account you're using here, your teacher Google account, go ahead and sign in with that same exact account. You can be signed in as both a teacher and a student at the same time time and that's the beauty of this method. So here I'm logged in as a student right here and now I have the ability to actually respond to the questions and most importantly, I have the inking tools right here. So typically what I do is I make it real small, my pen, first step, and then I choose a different color and then I go ahead and I just draw whatever I need to be drawing. Now I do use a little Wacom tablet that I have because I can't really draw all my math stuff with a mouse. As you can see, we're doing some complex calculus here, but I also pair this up with creating a screencast a lot of times, and this is the way I create my screencast for my lessons because I can just easily ink it up. In fact, this is the most recent video that I just made for my students to watch. You can see that I'm using my Pear Deck right here, and then I have all the pen tools so I can easily change the colors as I need, which I love. Now, now, sometimes my assignment is students log in to the Pear Deck and fill this out, and then I just create the video as a resource in case they need some help getting through the Pear Deck. It depends on what type of assignment I'm trying to give. Now, what's also golden, let me hit on this part and why I love it, is that when I'm all done, so say I've finished doing this, then you go back to your Pear Deck and you end the session. Yes, I'm sure you publish the takeaways save and end session. And let me show you what my takeaways look like for the one that I really did. So here's my Pear Deck takeaways folder. If I go into it, you'll see this is the one that only I did. It's only me and then my blank copy, of course. And then I actually share this with my students so that they can reference this as either the answer key or to help them get through the Pear Deck if I'm assigning it for homework. I want them to have a resource so that they can be able to help themselves. Sometimes I leave little notes for them right there. So that's just a very quick overview of how you can use Pear Deck to mark up your Google Slides. I'll do a quick little summary here. So you make your slides first of all. Pro tip is to just add the drawing slide type on the first slide and then copy this bottom bar and paste it on all of your other slides a little bit quicker. Go ahead and you present the lesson. It will take you over to the classroom view and then you want to go ahead and put it in student paste mode so that you're able to log in as a student and move at your own pace. Grab the URL by just going up here, 
give students a link, go in a new tab, paste that in, do not log in incognito. You can be in the same exact Google account logged in as both the teacher and a student at the same time, and then you will have access to all of the drawing tools. Once you are done, you do have to go back to the teacher end to close and end the session. Once you have ended the session, make sure that you are publishing the student takeaways. You can grab those takeaways, change the share settings to share it with your whole class, and then you can provide that resource as a handout. All right, I hope this little tip helps, and that's all for now. Bye!